just had an amazing walk yes and um i was thinking of some of your questions while you're walking and i have a little input we'll see and y'all can see obviously what works with you guys but this is what i was doing um so when i was when i'm walking with her because you were asking when to give her treats and i was saying just give her treats you know when things scary go by or things like that but i think um i think a good habit to start would be maybe just giving her treats occasionally when she chooses to do the right thing right like okay let's not eat that mags can we drop whatever yes good 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 drop it very good good that's not that's like a bone or something okay okay well sorry ignore that but that was a bone she picked up a shard of a bone anyway, so um like i was saying instead of just giving her treats when things are scary maybe you know this is what we do with like older dogs um, start giving her treats for just making the right choice in general. So what I mean by that is, um, if we're walking, and she's walking nicely, and she's doing what she's supposed to be doing, and she's choosing to do this, yes, I can just give her a few treats. Yeah, and like, she doesn't have to stay with me. I want her to explore. I want her to smell things. But just when she does things, so like she's going to try to pull off, I stop when she does this. And I don't move forward or back. I just stay like this. And if she's if she comes to me, great. If not, I I've been saying let's go. But y'all can change it, but let's go. Good girl, yes. There you go. Very good. So it, it, she doesn't know the word yet, so y'all can definitely change it. I just pick a word letting her know like I am walking and I need you to be walking with me. Um, I kind of just let her do this, though. I don't really have super strict rules on what I need her to be doing at this age on a walk. Um, good girl. Ow. She hurts so bad when you give her treats, man. I feel like the leash is out of control because I only have one hand on the phone, but I guess she don't. Ugh, it's driving me crazy. Is this making you sick watching it yet? Because it's making me sick filming it. <laughs> um, I feel like that was my thing, though, is that the whole treats when walking, anytime she chooses to make a good choice. So she's pulling now. I'm not really going to correct her or do anything crazy. I'll wait for her because I'm not going to let her drag me into the yard. I'm, I'm not going to walk over there. But I kind of just stand like this. I give her a moment to choose to make the right choice. If she did choose to make the right choice and come back to me without me calling her, Oh, I would give her treats for that. That's a good choice to make. Um, if not, I get, let's go. Oh, good girl. That's good. And you don't have to give her treats every time you say let's go. We could just, it could just be a word meaning like oh, we're walking now, you know. Or again, anything you want to use. Um, yeah, but she's doing really good. Yes. And she's doing good. So she got a cookie. And I mean, I, again, I just, I wouldn't require her to walk perfectly because she's a tiny tiny puppy and I really want her to smell and look around but I think um I think if she's just doing extra good or if she does something or she sees a dog that barks at her and she doesn't bark oh yeah extra cookies for that one like just instead of teaching her how to walk on the leash rewarding her for like doing the good thing so she kind of learns like oh you know when I act like this I get a little more goodies than if I don't and, I mean, that's a loose idea. You know what I mean? So, like, I know it's not like a concrete, what should you do on a walk? But I think anything in the parameters of good choices, means treats, lettering or explore, making sure walks are really happy, then that's good. Yes! Oh, that's so good. Yeah. Let's get that. She does really, really, really beautifully on the walk. And I'm very proud of her because she was not walking initially. And things like, I don't know if she'll do it now on camera, but we'll, she'll sometimes pull going forward, yep, like this. I let her do it as of now. My thought is teach her what is good and let her explore and see things. Um, again, if she drags me up here, I'm not going to go up there. But um, the dragging forward, it's like we could tweak that later once she knows what we do want from her, right? Or you could... This is what we do when my dogs are older and we're walking, working on leash walking. 
Let's see if she'll pull ahead again. So if she pulls ahead, she's not really pulling. If she pulls ahead, I would just stop. And we only move forward if she comes back to me. Very good. Very good. And now we can walk. You can do that for sure. I mean, there, you don't you don't have to have treats for that. You don't have to have anything crazy. The reward itself is just going forward. Um, and then it can't hurt. It can't hurt. There's sometimes that I'd rather just walk and let her go ahead and work on that when she's older. But, I mean, since she did really well just then, you might want to start now. It's totally up to you. I just don't want your walks to have to be stressful. Like, you have to be doing these intense training walks when we definitely want her to be having fun. I mean, she has fun training, though. So, I mean, she honestly might prefer it. Just give those different things a try and see what she's going to come. Can you come here? Yeah. <laughs> Can you see? Oh, we're not doing that. Yes, thank you. It was very polite. Here we go. Oh, mm -mm. Find it. Next, down. That's a rock, not a tree. Down. Yes, very good. Oh my goodness, she's so smart. We haven't done that since this morning. And she did good. She was thinking. She really, she's so smart. She thinks so hard when she trains.